This is a quick overview of how to use Wiley Plus Learning Space with Truffle. So when you enter the course, you're going to see a dashboard like this that has four quadrants. You know, the upper right quadrant is any assignments you've made, recent class, class activity, bottom right, your students' participation. So as students enter into the ebook, click around, like, discuss things, uh, they're going to get participation and then also their performance based on the homework you assign. And then this is your main um, page with the ebook. If you click this hamburger menu, you can see all the different access you have as an instructor. So for assignments, if you go to class assignments, then you can see what assignments you've made to your class. If you go to my assignments, you can see what assignments you have available already. Uh, policies, your policies. If you want to make a new assignment, you go to new assignment. You can go a pre-created assignment and then you can look at the assignments we have. So in chapter one, we have a video assignment that goes with a video that's embedded in the book. Test bank, all the test bank questions, pre-lecture, post-lecture, and an assessment assignment. These are based on the chapter questions that are available. So you can assign those, you can customize them to get rid of or add questions, you can try it as a student, you can see it as a student. So you have all of that access available to you. So just to go to the oh, resources, let me go to the resources. So if you look at all the resources that are available, again, you can filter by chapter. So you can see that you have instructor's manual, art PowerPoint, lecture PowerPoint, clicker questions, the test bank questions, um, uh, and the video that is associated with that particular chapter. Each chapter has a couple of videos or one or two videos associated with them. You can go to the ebook by taking the in hamburger menu, clicking e-textbook, or you can actually just click this kind of file folder um, view and you can see the textbook. So if we go into chapter two, you're gonna see that the chapters, all the chapters give you an information about what is covered of all the integrated science topics, which ones are covered. The blue ones are applications that are covered in this chapter. The um, kind of greenish yellow ones are ones that are discussed in other chapters. Each chapter starts with a science through the day, kind of gives the students a view of what they see with their science as they go throughout the day. Then as they go into the chapter, they're going to have stuff that they can interact with, so figures that they could like or unlike. They can make comments. As an instructor, you can assign this. You know, you could assign this as something the students need to interact with. You can also start a discussion over here. So you could put in, um, you know, discuss the creation of Stonehenge. And then your students would actually have to discuss that right there in the course stream. So you'll see all of their comments in the course stream and that will also show up as a part of their participation grade. What we've done also is we've added a lot of in-chapter questions. So here's a science in the making about disease spread and there's a figure and then below that there are three questions. Now we're on the instructor view so you can preview those questions. If you want to assign those questions you can just do that right there and then they'll be available to the students. <clears throat> so you can see these are basically interpreting the graph. So it gives the students, you know, a little work with interpreting that particular graph. Um, so here's a video. There are those video questions associated with that. Again, you can assign that right from in here. This video is closed captioned. Uh, it's a figure now talking about the actual Stonehenge and then some math associated with it. And again, you have questions associated with that. So if you wanted to preview them, again, you could just click to see what the answers would be or what the questions are with the answers. And if you wanted to assign those, you can just click assign. Um, here's a discussion question. Again, you, it's already pre-created discussion question. So based on the information about Stonehenge, how do you think the pyramids were built? Again, you could assign this and make the students um, discuss that in the course stream there as part of their participation. And then as we go through, um, after we're done with a section, we can click on the next, and that will take us to a concept check. So after every section, there's a short series of three to five questions that basically make sure the students have understood that particular section. So when 
they're done with that, uh, you can give them that concept check, make sure they understand it, and then they proceed on to the next section. Uh, there are some calculations, again, some example worked out calculations, and then there's preview questions that you can assign after those worked examples. So, and here in this particular section, there's three sets of those work examples. And again, every time they proceed through, now they have another set of concept checks, in this case five, that you could assign to them. So they'll read through a section. If there's any questions you want to go ahead and assign, you can go ahead and assign those section questions very easily. You know, you type in your section, the due date, the start date, and so forth from there. And then those are part of their workflow as they read through the chapter in the ebook. Again, there are some embedded discussion questions throughout too. And after every section, there are the concept checks. And again, all these preview questions, all these practice questions associated with work problems that you can assign. Towards the end of the chapter, oops, in the last section, uh, it's not always the last section, it um, switches around, but there's usually going to be a virtual discovery lab. So this is something where the students can do a virtual lab based on this simulation. So they would go into this lab and they would do the simulation. They'd be told they have to do different things. They got to read the overview, read what the experiment is, and then moving the data or, or moving the equipment around to take data and then to analyze that data. In addition, every chapter will also have <clears throat> excuse me, in the chapter summary, a discovery lab. So this is not a virtual lab. This is something that they could do, kind of the kitchen chemistry type thing. They can do on their own, um, or you can do it in class. So, and those will also always have a question associated with them, a discussion question. And then the end of chapter questions, if students want to click on that, they can see all the end of chapter questions, but you can also assign those. Over here are the resources, so you have all the resources for the chapter, and then you also have um, course level resources, so um, the appendices, human anatomy, units and numbers, so forth, math videos, explaining how to do certain math videos, biology basics, all the virtual discovery labs and periodic table games, all here as part of the resources. So this is the ebook. So within the ebook, you can assign questions, you can assign the virtual discovery lab, the videos, anything you want to assign. And then the students, as they read through, they'll have to answer those questions and that will show up in your grade book to show that they have answered those questions. And if you want to make a more formal assignment, you can go into the assignments, new assignment. You can customize your own assignment. A file-based assignment would be something you send to the students, like a file of questions a discussion assignment, or you can again use the pre-created assignments. And if you click on that, you can see there's a video assignment. Uh, that's going to have a set number of questions based on the video that's in the chapter. The test bank, that's just going to have all the test bank questions. So it's probably not good to assign the whole thing, but if you wanted to, you could, or you could pick and choose among those. Pre-lecture assignment, series of short questions, very simple. Um, give that to the students to make sure they've read the material before coming to lecture. Post-lecture assignment, again, a little bit more complicated, but still fairly simple set of questions. And then assessment assignments. These are going to be other assignments besides the um, end of chapter post-lecture assignments. So we have all these pre-built assignments that you can either use as they are, or you can modify them how you wish to use for your class. So you have the ebook, which is fully interactive. Everything the student does reports to the gradebook. So all the questions in there, the concept check, the worked example questions, you can assign those. You have assignments you can assign. Uh, you have tons of resources available to you. Um, the key to this book, um, the course stream, that's the discussion section, you know, basically kind of a Facebook for your class, so to speak. Anything, the students can ask each other questions. They can answer each other's questions. You can make assignments. You can post links of YouTube links, whatever. So it really drives the students to an interactive experience. And that's the whole goal of this Wiley Plus Learning Space is to have a really interactive experience where the students are communicating with each other and with you through the book, through the course stream, 
and the students are interacting within the book. We have other videos explaining just in general how to use Wiley Plus Learning Space that we've included in this, um, but hopefully this will help you understand how Truffle the Integrated Sciences works within Wiley Plus Learning Space. Thank you.